Hi, I'm Jeff Goodman. I'm the author and creator of the RAID Action Camera course. And today we're just going to look at a small part of that course which involves the care and maintenance of O-rings. It's interesting that no matter what kit you have, you know, whether you have the, the biggest, most expensive underwater housing or the tiniest uh, and least expensive, everything boils down to the cheapest part, and that's the O-ring. If the O-ring fails, everything else fails as well. So taking care of the O-ring is crucial. So I'm gonna show you on the GoPro today. I just open up the housing, take the camera out, and then we'll remove the O-ring itself. I find one of the, in fact, the easiest way for me is to use uh, a thin guitar plectrum and it doesn't damage the o-ring at all then when you're getting it out so just slide it in under pop it up and pull it out dust sand grit hairs anything can get trapped in the o-ring and cause a leak into your housing so it's important to make sure it's clean. You'll notice this one, by the way, is white, and you can get red ones, black ones. With the white and the red, you don't need O-ring grease. With the black ones, you do. But just to make sure, just read the manufacturer's instructions on whether you do or don't need O-ring grease. So these are what we would call as dry O-rings except they're not totally dry. I would use a little bit of, a little bit of saliva just to run around it, just to give it that little bit of moisture. And that's actually a good way of seeing if there are any particles on that O-ring as well. I so say, just lick your fingers, run the O-ring smoothly through them, and then you can feel any, any particles that are there. So once you're satisfied that it's clean, have another look and just make sure, look very carefully, there are no nicks or tears in it as well. Because that again, will make the O-ring defective and let water in. So to put it back, just also make sure where your O-ring is seated, that that's also free of any dust or sand. With the GoPro O-rings, one end or side is slightly larger than the other. So make sure you put it in the right way. So the, the flatter, bigger end or side fits in first. Fit that around. There we go. And make sure it's not twisted as well. Not quite so important, although it is still important with the, with the circular O-rings, but as these are slightly squarish in shape uh, across um, its face, you need to make sure there's no twists in it at all. Just give it that one extra little check, and now you can put your camera in and close it up. When you close it up, and the, the advantage of an acrylic housing is that you can see the O-ring pressed against the face on the inside. So when you actually close it, make sure that you can see a nice pressed surface all the way around, and then you know the O-ring's not caught. So, O-ring maintenance, crucial to any camera work, have some great fun.